Howdy y'all, it's your host Ro. Welcome back to Love It Games. Today we're going to play a new game, uh, the Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil in Me. So, I hope you enjoy. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. We're going to hop right into this. Now, I will say I don't know where it's going to be the best place for the camera. I may have to move this at some point during the game. We're going to find out. Right now I have it in the bottom corner. I may have to go to the top. may have to go to the bottom. We're going to have to see what works the best. But I've been excited to play this one. I haven't watched anything on it. I don't know the story. At all. We're going to figure out what this is. This is the fourth game in the series. Now play alone. I've purposely tried to avoid anything on this, so it's completely new. Start the. <laughs> well, okay, that makes sense because I have not played it. New story. I'm gonna go forgiving because it we're just playing it for the first time. Play with the controller, press A to play with the mouse, press lab, the tutorial. I'll play with an A for now. Play with the controller for now. Play with the A. They have sown the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind. Hosea 8 7. Every choice has a consequence. Oh, I wonder if Tom Hanks is. It's not Tom Hanks, but the character looks like Tom Hanks. It's, man. Some decisions save lives. It's the curator. To me, he looks just like Tom Hanks. Others. lead to. Death. That's sad. I don't like grass, but still. The Choose wisely. Two hundred and sixty-four feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for a hundred miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> They're sweet. Snake oil something. I think we've arrived. You know what? The camera's gonna be in place of text, I bet. Isn't this grand? As advertised, very nice. But we have to see text go that big, so I'm kind of curious. Let's check in. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Try again. Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Excited, let's go to the fair later today. Reassuring. Why can I not? Everyone must be busy elsewhere. That's no way to run a business. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. 
Dude, your mouth is huge. My sincere apologies. Oh. For both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please, sign in here. First time in Chicago? I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. <clears throat> Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. Yes, today's the beginning of our Press honeymoon. Press hold right trigger to pick up objects. Congratulations. In that case, an upgrade World's is Fair in Hotel. order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. Triple H. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor, artist. I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Please have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. He seems questionable. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. Jewelry. He's no. already changed selection. What did oh. I forget to bring? Face powder. Variants updated. Oh, pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. He sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? I wanted to still look, I didn't mean to pick up the very first item and just call it there. Wonder what's in here. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? <gasps> Don't move. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Press the aim to time the heartbeat wide. They're gonna know it's you. You're the only ones who are just checking in. <laughs> that was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Let's go. Oh. Did you enjoy the private room you busted in? Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. Oh, snap. Pot. <laughs> Goodness, this place is fit for a king. So we know her name is Marie, we don't know me? his name. Oh, you. Kiss this. That is not very wifely of you. Hey! Ah, bullseye! You asked for it. He's R to aim, right trigger to target. How about a peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Marie purchased the tin of powder. Jeff gave Marie a necklace. He purchased a jewelry can. Oh. There are 50 secrets. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. jammed shut maybe if we put a little weight into it <sighs> open sesame <laughs> thank you why don't you have a shave while i take a quick bath 
then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. <laughs> Don't you worry. Still pictures. The other dark picture mythology games. You find the pictures and it tells you when some shit's about to happen. was the way we came up. What? Ah! Oh my god. Almost save. on the screen characters can equip the items they have in their inventory. Press that to equip an item. Right trigger. Why did you put powder on before the bath? A chance to look at what the other items were, so we missed out on something that may have been vital. Is that you, darling? Jeff? Oh, are we playing another game? Uh, we want to relax. The dark picture game. Yeah, be careful. You know, this tub is awfully big. I think there might be room for another body. Oh. Hmm, that's nice. That ain't Jeff. Ow. I knew it, Jeff. You don't know your own strength. Easy, dear. Jeff, that hurts. Hello, my dear. Ah! Oh, I know. You don't want to disturb the other guests. Let go of me! Let go of me! I really thought you'd have a little more fight in you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, we hadn't. Yeah, all we had is face powder. There we are. Nice and quiet. Oh, 
Until she did. What are you doing? If you've touched Maria, you're a bit late with that sentiment, good sir. Is there a problem, sir? Is that a gas pipe? It is a gas pipe. Too. I wonder if there's any way of actually saving them. My dear. Mother would simply die. It's so I say, opulent. Uh, good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Oh, oh yeah. The curator. Won't you spare me over till another year? To me, he looks just like Tom Hanks. the character they've made with this guy. I swear though, he looks like Tom Hanks and it is death. Feather. Oh, you're here. Have you been waiting long? Welcome back. I do enjoy seeing a familiar face. 
Last time, no one survived. I wonder if you were even trying. My first time playing this one, and I haven't had one where I've killed everyone. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create, and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obols. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Yeah. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on... Uh, uh, and, uh, and, yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. But I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I... I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a it's a job. I've been a key grip and lighting tech for years. See a problem, light it. You don't often meet someone like that, man. How do you even start? He looks like the uh, captain from Man and Medan. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or um, like personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived. Uh, he looks like film. the dude from Little Hope. Didn't quite uh, uh, hit the mark as I was hoping it would. I oh, it's the, the bus driver. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, your honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders. 
but his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city. The number grew significantly, nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh... I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m., be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. The Charlie received a call from Grantham DeMana and stepped with the investigation to his H.H. Holmes inspired murder. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right. Let's load up, guys. All right, got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes you all glowy. We leave it behind it. You're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip! Huzzah! Woohoo! Hooray! Let's go, guys. Do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault, because <laughs> you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this. Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Was may share information that can affect about my this? business or lifestyle. <laughs> there are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do. Fine. That's dangerous. For the show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka.
they have some sort of state of the art surveillance. If this dude is so rich, shouldn't he have servants or something? This guy gonna help? <clears throat> No, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There. From on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great, and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. But we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice <laughs> knowing you. Come on. All right. Can I? So we'd probably have to find some light or heavier. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes. Of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right, let's load up, guys. All right, got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes you all glowy. We leave it behind it. You're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah. Woohoo. Hooray. Hooray. Do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Was may share information that could affect about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. It's super questionable to give up your phone.
This dude is so rich. Shouldn't he have servants or something? This guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There. From on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great. And we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll yeah, have to be before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. Oh, we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. Can I? All right. Giving me access to the pipeline. It is very foggy. Like you can get some B-roll, some background images and stuff, but... Walk any faster. A to climb. Oh, so we actually can do different things in this. This is taking. So this is a different style than the other. It seems like we have a little bit more freedom. Jesus, that is loud. Man. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... It doesn't look too serious. The warning about everything falling into the ocean. I'm gonna say we trust it and not die. Nah, this sign is something the lawyers make them put up. I'm sure it's fine. Hard disagree. So much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. Come on. Anything for a shot, right? Listen, Mark, I just wanted to say um, thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know, some of the crew can be challenging to work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that. The episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. I guess we do. All right. I like the more, like, open world aspect of this. It seems like the camera's better. I was hoping being here, all remote and away from the world, that maybe I'd have some downtime, some space to decompress. Downtime? Why would you want to do that? You know, relax a bit. I've never seen the attraction. In memory of the victims of the Great Storm on May 1st, 1907, storm. in which 187 lives were lost, the crew and the passengers of the SS Cassiopeia, which were crashed into the rocks at the base of these cliffs. Oh. Oh. Oh, we actually get to. This is not something I would expect from a Dark Pictures game. The open world was one thing, but actually running and jumping. I guess House of Ashes, they did change a lot. Your light. 
these are you literally just got a hey, lighter when we wrap i'd like to take a couple weeks out go see my family i need you in post i really appreciate that discerning eye of yours you know i got a lot going on at the moment charlie oh right yeah of course sure take a couple of weeks we head together i appreciate it i'll be fine in post on that you should do the same take some time out you got any family you can go and bother oh well you know mrs lonnet you got hiding in some closet somewhere married to the job married <laughs> to the job <laughs> how's that marriage working out well from what i hear about real marriages pretty damn good <laughs> married to the job I don't quite like how that's done. Hope you don't have to do that in a rush. There has to be an easier way up this freaking thing. Christ, what the hell is that? A mannequin, you know. That fucking sucks. Hanging out. They got me. Maybe it's part of some old museum display. <laughs> right. That's probably it. Fuck that thing. Oh, I didn't realize there was a sign. Oh well. It says danger keep out. Keep out, Will Robinson. You're coming. Yeah. Just looking at the light on the mist. How is that gonna fit into the show? It just caught my eye. Coming. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? Because crossover with Kate hasn't exactly... We agreed to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. Lock tight. Come on. There must be another way. You sure? No. I'm optimistic. Right trigger? Yeah, I'm making what that is. Fish factory to close. Exciting times. Who's coming out and going the back way to deliver mail up here? The thing should be down by the dock. Looks like we could climb that. My hip. This thing hasn't been manned in ages. Why's the horn still going? Because they didn't decommission the fog. It's all automatic now. Looks like the last one was 2000. Patrick Wright, that's funny, that was the name of one of my old instructors. Read, please. Keep it up, team. This should be the final week. Last night's fog horn test was successful. Looks like the automation is all up and running. We'll do one final trial today, then we can pack up the kids. A couple of you have reported that the homeless guy hanging around again 
We're going to bump up during the compound and conducting final checks today and tomorrow just to be on the safe side. Don't want anyone getting injured. Other than that, work's been great. All project, let's keep up the pace and we'll be out of here by the end of the week. T.S. There's like legitly nothing else. I open these drawers. There was nothing else in there. There is nothing else here. I don't see anything on the ground anywhere. Yeah. I squeeze through here? I can. Shimmy shimmy cocoa puff. Is there anything else over here before I do that? Because I have a feeling that we're not coming back. The game style, like how they've changed it up, it doesn't even feel like the other Dark Pictures games so far. How's the game go if we fail to open the door right there at the very beginning? This looks pretty old. Really, it's easy as tight clip to open the What's that? Just some old coin. Find the penny, pick it up. Look, sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. That's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it.
Also this side. Door locked. Yep. Curiosity killed the cat there, Charlie. Just a little breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? Christ, what the hell is that? Oh, left trigger. I'm holding right trigger. Nice to meet you, too. Tell me, shh. Anything special in here? Didn't even see these two. Why did you leave the fridge open? Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes. And six gallons of sanitizer. We've passed all of these uh, pictures, and not one of them has been one to give us a vision. I feel like we've missed some stuff. Charlie. I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Relax. <laughs> Some hobby. That particular thing is somebody being deranged. What in God's name is this? Bro. Ah! It moved. What? The thing. It moved. I can understand a lot of various things, but why do you have cock? What are you cocking on a crow? The weird things you say. So there is a ladder. All right. It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Look at this. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, there's our ride. Come on, we better get back. That looks like just a drifting deck. Is that him? I don't know. We just had the one call. How, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh. Actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Dumet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. 
This is Mark. Mark. Erin. Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that turned up? Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. That did seem super fishy. So we know Charlie, Kate, Mark, don't know the names of the last two yet. Get up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe. But we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. Looks like things have buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. I dress for a hike. Try not to cough up along, Charlie. Slow, deep breaths, Charles. Try not to cough up a diseased lung. I'll be fine. Just pretend there's a carton of smokes at the top of the hill. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying. You are Jamie. Movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumet. Discretion is Lonnie Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. OK, let's go for a take, then. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. Okay, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? You just this put way. yourself in the camera shot. There's still some more shots, right? Obviously. Mr. Dumet is being really restrictive. I noticed. I want you to get a look around without him knowing. Matt is entitled to his privacy. He's caging. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Ah, oh, oh, oh my, damn it. What happened? You okay? Did you get your ego again? Yeah. I should get her up to the hotel. Oh my god, I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up? In Glendale? Oh, right. Okay. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. 
You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. Been taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. Pulls a shiv out of nowhere. They have control. There we go. So, Mark, Charlie, Jamie, Aaron is anxious. We have found no secrets so far. Hey, can I ask you something and get a straight answer? You know, without you making a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me. That works both ways. Fine. Look, tell me the truth. Is there any saving this show? Maybe. There's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here. You think that's likely? No. At best, we'll get some nice B roll. That's not gonna save our asses. There's a secret found, but I can't see what the secret is. Number 10, so we may have missed nine other secrets. Oh, one of the ovals. Nice. Private property. Come in. It's a bit of a scramble. See if I'm seeing anything. Watch your head. Yeah, a little like guard shack or security office. I'm up on top. He <clears throat> could have told us to dress for a trek. Not to fall and die. I don't want to see Mark cry. Thanks for the concern. Really. I don't feel like the balance mechanic was fully fleshed out. Not bad, I just didn't feel as responsive as it could. I don't know when the last time somebody cleaned out that trash can. Wonder where this goes. 
And straight up and down the hill. Yeah. But what's on the other end? Another station to get in and out. you live out here on this island? Shh. Get down. With your family? My wife is... She died. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Come on. We're about there. They didn't see us. Let's go. This is ridiculous. There's nothing out here. Can't let our cohort know what's going on. Hang over here. Oh. That looks like semi cute crawl underneath. Over there. That's locked. We can climb that. That looks like that's where we're supposed to go, but I want to see what's back here for. That. Maybe this is the way. That. Oh, Jesus! Ah! The very warped squirrel. I heard you were looking for a new place. Not sure I can afford the rent on this one. I kind of like to see that again because it ain't quite gay. Train cruise twenty one. Family. Bird spotting. An in-depth guide to the birds that live and migrate to the British Isles and easily identifiable birds with color photographs. Discover where they could find each species and learn about their unique personalities from expert bird watchers. Once you find some feathered friends, you can make your own observations using the handy notes section provided. Be sure to like for other publications include Birds Birds World, following the world's most sought after birds, to guide traveling the UK and beyond in search of great birds looking. of the wild. That it? That was our first premonition. Turned. 
vacation photos, number 31. I don't know how you beat me outside. Why does it sound like a Geiger counter? Well, that's not at all what I was trying to do, but there's some down here. What about over there? Would not have found that if I didn't fall. wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. I think there is some. So we've gotten four. Shit, summer camps. Parkour. Parkour. Car moving and stop it here. We'll be able to get across. High voltage, keep out. All right, it's all the ladder. You see the control panel? I don't even think there's power. The top left. We have to find all the fuses. Eight or ten. Eight fuses. Old school fuse box at that. Or I jump down. Anything over here? What about over there? You're not quite saying what about over there, man. You're not pointing, you're not leading. If that makes any loud noise, you're going to notify every single person. Maybe we can get this thing working.
Jamie, can you fix this? Jamie. To equip the multimeter, she can use. The wire in here is ancient. Follow the arrows. You don't go out of sequence unless you want to equip the whole system. You're welcome to advance. So right down, left down, right down. No, no. Why are you going right when I'm telling you to go left? It's literally something what was right there, you probably could have climbed the side. <laughs> you just climbed over, you could have climbed over the tracks. What's through here? Hear that? Real bad time to bust out a fart. Locked. Wonder what these are. Hazardous substance. Can I? Invoice colon exchange colon exchange sixteen seventy Augustine Way Thompson Georgia. Grant Dumont description and amount. Uh, let me. There we go. I have no idea. Stiletto Hill? There must be something around here. If somebody's running away, their heel broke. I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. I found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Dumetch. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumetch, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're gonna find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. Come on. 
coming or what? Uh huh. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Yes. Oh shit! We're all gonna die! Just go. <laughs> oh my god, relax, Mark. He climbed up to the lighthouse earlier. Ooh, that's serious drop. You good? Oh man. You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it though? She likes Mark. Charlie, she hates Jamie. I shouldn't have looked. It's just water down there. You can swim. Besides, the bridge looks dependable. Ish. Come on. I'll help. That's it. Look. It's fine. I'm not looking. <laughs> Don't look down. Look forward, not yeah. down. <laughs> See? Not so bad. Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Where is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. There's five people, we're all here. Who's the innkeeper? This place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Hello. Wonder who you are. What are you doing? I I saw a little girl up there. Maybe it's your one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. <laughs> Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Man. He seems more scared than oh. anything. Look at this. It's amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. Eddie. Mr. Dumet, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. There's so many questionable things. Zero one seven eight. Oh, there you are. 
busy, busy, busy. You've been out and about all day. And I have to sit here worrying. Gone all day and not a word from you. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes. Thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. Yeah, it, it is questionable myself. Like, it's just a hall, dude. The place is creepy. And here we are. Well, it's um cozy. Cozy. Like one of them capsule motels. At least don't have to double mm, up like last time. Fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure. What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh. I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me. But she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school. What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows what you know. Uh... What is that? Wine. Genius. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on a hammer before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. You look also, old. You're cute when you're worked up. I don't. Cute? You no. Think I'm cute? Mm -hmm. Oh. Gotta stick on my own if you want to share a lip cooties. Thanks, but I can find mine. Where'd it go? Uh. It's uh all the way against the wall. See it? It is dusty. You okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me now? No. Revenge? Because, good job. Eric can use her inhaler to stop a asthma attacks. You sure you're okay? 
Because, yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I... I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? Like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it, but... Dust and allergies and... I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah. Cozy. <laughs> that bottle looks like it may have been opened. You gonna try that? It was improperly stored. And that could be. Poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying. It's picon. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. Easily could be poison. And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat drops. <laughs> oh, oh. <my> God. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the thinking you were cute thing. Really? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine. Not because I am bashful. I swear. Really. Sorry. Didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Or that I don't think you're cute too. It's just, um. Back off, move in. What are you doing? I, oh my god, I, uh, I... <laughs> oh, you bitch! <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. Oh, sorry, sorry. Who is that? That's Charlie's creepy self. <sighs> yeah. Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me ten, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got ten minutes. Okay. We'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. Dick. <laughs> to be continued then? Yes, definitely. So she is like maxed out in the air. And we have 10 coins? Oh, we had five. Or maybe that's something else. Good luck finding your rooms. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go. 
He just ran on the barge with his kid. You didn't actually drink anything. Your mouth never opened. Making a mannequin? That one is of Kate. Well? I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress, or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Do I look fucking stressed? Yes. Uh... That was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing. Makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock. And did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumet. Did you find them? I... No. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <gasps> Jeez. Instructive, desperate. Check the other bag. Didn't you already? Just look. It's only clothes and, uh... Oh, uh, this. Notice of eviction. The studio? I paid the studio rent out the wrong account and the check bounced. It's nothing. I just have to use another... It's fine. So you're saying not to worry? Worry about finding my bloody cigarettes. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I... I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. You say that, but people still smoke in bars in Oklahoma. It's my spare cap. Exactly the same? Well, it suits me. What's weird about that? I don't like the breathing that's going on. The yellow cross. Yes, hardly. From the best selling Arthur of Shroud and Innocence comes a thrilling reimagining of a, one of history's most merciless massacres. Kill them all, God will recognize his own. July 22nd, 1209, and one day the peaceful city of Bazaars was plunged into massacre. Iron Crusader Simon de Montfort is determined to purge the city of all its practicing Cathars by the most horrific means necessary. Deep in the Church of St. Mary, Magdalene's hidden caverns, a last remaining group of Cathar Perfecti have hidden away. They can't hide forever. The youngest Perfecti, Father Escovan, has come up with a desperate plan to escape. With the help of a lifelong friend, Catholic priest Moret, but all the hinges on the fine balance of bravery and faith, crippling and thrilling history come alive. This is Hardy's at his finest, the Herald. That's TS, and all the cheats were signed TS. I'm curious if it's the same TS. 
any photos we can look at. We look out the window. On entertainment. Notice of eviction. Yeah, the deep breathing's a little, little much. All right, there we go. So you, that door's locked. Anything over here? What is with the weird, creepy breathing? So, I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice... You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. 180. I mean, you'd tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Sure, but... It's fine. Erin, please. I've squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Well, but... You have to let this go. We're fine, Erin, okay? Breaking down walls. Maze of Anxiety by Professor J.P. Hunter. Professor J.P. Hunter is an author and counselor with over 20 years of experience helping patients overcome their anxiety and panic attack. Within this book, you will find a step-to-step -step guide designed to give you the tools needed to find the path out of the maze of anxiety. Following a unique monthly and you'll learn anxiety-busting tips and tricks to incorporate into your busy life. Professor J.P. Hunter has helped thousands of people manage their anxieties, give them the confidence they need to break down the walls and tackle their demons. Based on Breaking Down the Walls, Navigating the Amazing Anxieties, National Bestseller. All of these are locked. Um, this doesn't make sense. Grantham Demet Architect. Okay. This with the floor doesn't make sense. Yeah. There's something else there. Cause look, there's another hall entrance thing here. These walls move. Oh, got something to pick up, something to look at. What's the numbering? Cause that was 180. And it has no number. Another coin. This wall doesn't make sense either. Or this one. Charlie, you're breathing so hard. From Grantham Demet to Joseph Morello Invitation. Dear Mr. Morello, thank you for allowing me to conduct you directly. The publisher said that you're very keen to hear from me. 
seems that we have a mutual interest. Spent several years constructing the ultimate home's tourist experience by faithfully creating the world's favorite hotel. You have not yet considered a man of your knowledge could provide insight that valuable before our official opening. Therefore, I invite you to visit the hotel for the weekend. The experience is designed to accommodate groups of five guests, so I, I extend the invitation to four friends or family of your choosing. You must insist that the invitation be kept confidential until the hotel is publicly announced. So please only invite guests that you trust to do so. I hope you can accept my invitation. Please reply with your attendance and four additional guests you'd like to bring. Should you accept, a limousine will pick you up. Your guest is seven on Friday. Huh. Graham, thanks to be delighted to come on. I'm sure I can get my wife and two girls to join me. My brother Francis is in town at the minute, so I'll make five. I trust all of them with my eyes and a spare of confidentiality. This place is fishy as a Hey, Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. I suppose I should be thankful it's just my cigarettes that are missing and not our gear. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? <laughs> Brad Fisher, Rachel Fisher, Jackie Fisher, her fiddles, Dot Thorne, Grace Fletcher. Wow. So it was literally 14 days before. These were just one day before. All right, so you literally have been killing people constantly. Wait, what was it again? Charlie Linnett, Kate Wilder, Jamie here again, Mark Nestor. E. E. Man. I don't know if the last names are going to be important or not, but it, we have it wrote down. Welcome. Mr. Hector Bunday. And I think you're choosing Twilight Prairie as residence for your mother. Then has already settled in well. We encourage visitors as often as possible. Linda Price.
be locked, locked. A lot of locked doors. Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Open. Locked. One of the most unpersonal hotels I've seen. Where the keyholes can be unlocked using keys. the key. Yeah, that was super fishy. Don't be one of those idiots who leaves it in the door either. All right. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Good morning to you all. I'm Chester Bell. Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by Special Agent Hector Monday and supported by law enforcement officers conducted a raid of a motel room just outside Birmingham, Alabama to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say we have our man. Good. Oh, that was unsettling. Something about being stuck at a door and caught on fire. The walls in this building do not make sense. Miss Kelly Schroeder. Yeah, once again, I'd like to thank you for your incredible work you and your team achieved at the hotel. I'd like to extend my heartfelt condolences to the accident that befell the skeleton crew. The lake is nothing short of tragedy, and I, part, feel responsible. In honor of them, I spent the last several months applying finishing techniques to the hotel, and I would proudly say that we're almost ready to be open to the public. Please allow me to extend my sincere gratitude. I invite you and the rest of your team to join me at the grand opening, 7 p.m. Friday, November 17, 2017. I promise a spectacular evening with themed entertainment, including a barbershop quartet. I'm sure you'll agree that all the hard work was worth it. Sincerely, Richard Buchan.
There's cigarettes. You got a bar. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, of course it was exact change. Damn it. Look at all the ghost orbs. Wow. An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. will it be, Mr. DeMath, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smoke. The eyes are wrong. Figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Barman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. I don't suppose you've got any spare change back there, have you? Thought not. The eyes are so wrong. Next round's on me. Promise. Well, is there any change in there? Because you didn't grab anything. Those are open cigarettes. Oi. Oi. Those were his Life cigarettes. Would be so much easier with that in my jacket pocket. What? No. No, please. I'm having a really shit day, and you've just made it worse. Come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <clears throat> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Got some weird stuff going on. Hey, I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. 
Just give me a tip, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. <laughs> I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. Or both. We're hitting the golden hour. We should be able to find a good spot. <laughs> I don't know why you camera dorks call it that. It's 15 minutes at best. Yes and no, if you have the right reflector. 15 minutes at the most. <laughs> Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. How's the new place? It'll do for now. You like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short-term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's... Hmm. Smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. No, just saying. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no-fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. So, since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? Yeah. I don't like how that, it's so limited. Yours doesn't have a door number either. Am I crazy, or did we not come from this direction? The halls and the walls don't make sense. And I noticed that the doors aren't numbered everywhere. Why is it blurry as hell? Yeah, only certain doors, 183. 184. Whoa there, bucko. I was just checking for a light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird-ass rules. You're in 184. I'm in an unmarked room. Charles is in 180.
There's something back here. People don't build hallways to be like this. Before I open that, why is this one on the ground? This house does not make sense. So if Dumek catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So maybe we should take care. Probably. Oh. That scared the fuck out of me. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue when he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? Was he the devil by Joseph Morell? The truth behind America's first serial killer. Since the book in 2002, Joseph Morell has been fascinated by investigating serial killers and none have intrigued him more than H.H. H. Holmes. In his latest paperback, Morell examines more than 15 years of his own research and writing, separating fact and fiction, providing evidence to the truth behind the historical case. America's first killer, was he the devil? A must for Morella fans, Real Killers magazine, it's an analyst of the worst nightmares. So the dude who wrote about H.H. H. Holmes, you had here literally one day before us. This takes me back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. <laughs> that's not a carving, that's something that hit it. My dude, what are you doing? That scared the shit out of me. Oops. It is a bloody, hairy book. First deaths and marriages. Mr. and Mrs. Robert Hall of Silver Springs announced the birth of the daughter of Marilyn on June 10th at the White Oak Hospital. Elon and Stephen Wright of North Park announced the birth of their son Maurice on June 10th at White Oak Hospital. On behalf of their daughter Lucinda Monday, proud parents of George and Rain Monday of Silver Springs announced the birth of their grandson Hector... Wayland, June 11th at White Oak Hospital.
Look at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the... Go Manny Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? You're taking a survey, you're trying to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. Can read what it says. Rod is gonna set in. Right. That's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. it it's decay. Old house, island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood, could be huh. anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. Can I climb up the ladder? Dude, what is with the breathing so hard? I could do a jump, but never mind.
That's boarded up and locked. Hey, there's something here. Oh, that one was worth five. Okay, so they got ones worth different amounts. So that takes you across there, but we need to go across this gap. Oh, I like how they made each character have like their own utilities. He has a gimbal. Charles is an ass. You know, the various things that make the characters them. Charles lockpicks. This should work. Mark? You okay in there? I'll be right back. You need to be wearing, like, breathing protection in a house like this. It's locked. Balcony. Got it. I go out the door. There's got to be a way through. Vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Possessions belonging to the victims of H.H. H. Holmes. Okay, yeah, those are Marie and Jeff. Kate, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H.H. H. Holmes. <laughs> Fuck! 
You that fucking know? sucks. <laughs> I just, this fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> See? What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. It scared me once. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on. Let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Oh, I didn't think it would force us hey, to go. Be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. That's no, true. Imagine if you were in his shoes, 40-something, still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. Good for you. That's... That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonnet Entertainment. And Lonnet Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonnet employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Great. Happy? You have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Wonder what I missed out on. So you're sewing a mannequin. Hey guys. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Let's all just relax. We just sat down, give the man a moment. He's the host. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait. What? Why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. It 
They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Jamie. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. Okay. It's probably fine. true. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We're just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true Lon and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> now, I would like to toast all of you. Really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of 10. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. Oh, that's so sweet. Interested. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all. For your hard work. Cheers. 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 To us. Mazel tov. Hip hip hooray. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure. If we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah. There's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. What was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? If he tells us to stop, I'm going to be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need, and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. 
Great. 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 Apparently we did good, because Charlie could have lost it. They have a Kate doll. Is this a Charlie? It is a Charlie doll. Something about the eyes. She has a audio thing. Aim in the direction, I'll find the source of the noise. Charlie's next door to you. This has already changed. Because 180, 181, 183 was right there. Good for her. Very deep, Your Honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me. Trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. Yeah, the walls change, because this was the pathway we came in, 100%.
Yeah. I can do it. The fucking shit's moving. Something else. I swear every time you hear that, something's changed. You hear everything moving around on the walls. Dude, talk about fucking nightmare fuel over here. We're totally about to have a jump scare. My don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. Hey, going into it, that does not look at all. That looks like a fucking trap. Yeah. Guess there's nothing else to do. Oh no, look at this. They're screwing with Aaron first. Damn it. Breakers. I find it odd that y'all are all split up. I mean, don't you ever watch Scooby Doo? You never split the gang up.
That has changed. It was at 179, now it's at 180. Did somebody die? Is that a kill count? That's for 21. Mr. Demet? This looks like a trap, too. Like it's time to join the 21st century, guys. Half an hour to winter sun pool opening hours have changed in the five. Phoenix security name ever zero four five one digital lock. E.F. Richardson, Mr. and Mrs. Mark Edwards, East 3rd Lighthouse, Lake, date. As instructed by you, you made the requested amendment to your will. Uh, the file has been added, which states that both your deaths, the sole beneficiary of your empire stays, Mr. Richard Becknip. We recommend that a copy of this letter is given to your legal representative for records. Please remember you can view any of your will or life insurance documents anytime by logging into your online account. Wait, wait, no, no, don't go in. He locked, all right. Into the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Choices, Jamie. Enjoy your memorabilia. Make better choices. Do that killer. This is your own damn fault. Then a cat. Wow. Yeah, Mrs. Mr. Clark, Mr. Belknap has requested further renovations to the hotel spa. We're currently negotiating a formal contract that would allow the remaining crew to conduct cost assessment. Mr. Belknap can provide a detailed breakdown of the work he wants. Once your report has been received, we'll arrange for a replacement crew to alleviate you and your team for a period. Then, term, please continue to adhere to the terms stipulated in the non disclosure agreement. Treat this period as an extension of the previous contract. Wait, wait. Come back up. Is there anything I could flip over? 
Yes. Jesse, plans and specifications, Laura Electronics, Frank, Engineering, Monica, Permits, Logistics, Ryan, Excavation, and Demolition. Here, Mr. Renovations regarding hotel property for the purpose of converting to tourist direction. Review your latest design estimates and contract will work necessary. Please find an overall breakdown of the work as well as an estimate and total cost. Work can commence Tuesday, 13th of January, and will take 10 weeks. Friday, March 24th. Wow. Extension and strengthening of rooms to accommodate machinery for moving parts, 10 weeks. 500. 60, wait, 10 weeks, 560, at 240,000, various remote receivers installed across the hotel, pipe work, that's a lot of money. All right. Century. storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. High winds and heavy rainfall are expected by 10 p.m. Central Time. Repeat, this is a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. High winds and heavy rainfall are expected by 10 p.m. Central Time. Repeat. There's something creepy going on right there. back here I guess we'll go check out the creepy shit and doors close I 
I'll press the red button. Stopped when I came up. That's questionable. The eyes just look so odd. That one's looking at me. It totally is. Damn it! Hold it. Our right one was off. They're all off. I had to build my own little castle, just like Holmes did. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just asking to get caught. Holmes had the right idea. It's all about the honey trap. You bring me some smokes, like I asked? Lucky Reds? Yes. Oh, these are like gold in here. Damn, that's good. So, yeah. The honeypot. Holmes built a hotel about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel and bought ad space in papers alongside ads for the expo. Rubes from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Come on, Pa Kettle. Take a train in from... Nebraska takes three days. They roll up into that joint ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops, what do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. That whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition, and yet all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. Call up as a contractor. Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. The first couple times I'd wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was gonna hear a thing. That's messed up. That's what I remember most. Those screams. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. 
You can forensic science up all the data you want. But you'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. You'll never really know how it feels when you watch the fire burn out of somebody. Damn. How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. <laughs> this looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Hey, thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. It was nice to hear. We're all on the same side. Sometimes we forget. What the hell? Hey! Hey, help! Somebody help me! I can't see a thing! I... Guys? Guys, please! You still have your microphone and that lights up. It's 181. Oh, that was a lot of vibration. Who's there? <gasps> I, I, guys, guys, somebody is in here with, with me. Oh, God. I didn't think attacking would have helped when we're already freaked out and can't see.
Just breathe. Just breathe. Hey. You're okay now. You're safe. Did you see him? Come on. <laughs> he... he was... Somebody was right there. In there with me. Aaron, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He... he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not... Nothing bad happened, Aaron. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down. Get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. Ah. There you are. First time with the curator. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. For the road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch in some ways I envy you I only record events you get to shape them you'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Ah, oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, OK? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. And exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? Charlie is thinking, which looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just saying. I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry, maybe I'm crazy, but if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Right. <sighs> Here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. We cannot jump to conclusions. I'm going to go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is going to be fine, okay? And we're going to get the left. message we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Dumet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. Promise. Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Kate. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're right. Sorry. It's just Charlie said... We're not safe here. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. 
I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. Promise. No, don't. Uh, sorry, I just still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Of course. Y'all shouldn't split up at all. Ever. You work better as a team, holding hands, going through the hallway. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for the map? I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Jesus. You really don't care about anything else, do you? Of course I care. Tell that to Kate. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Asshole. Let's go up. Now it's still at 180. What happened here? I... No idea. Somebody doesn't like flowers. Oh, I keep Charlie away from hooks. I wonder if that groundskeeper would know where the mat went. Bills, Fishers, Davis, Halls. No one came after Wait, what? us. What the hell? Where are you? Huh? No power. What were you going on how what to? Hey, there's something down there. There's a part over here. Hey, I found Dumet's business card. Incident murder cast lobby day, slow pain through lobby drinking atmosphere, go for 360 instead. Series dissolves between key exhibits, details ending front desk. Hand reaches into the frame, rings the doorbell. There's go, this one utter garbage, I see criticism, I better not suggest. Hilt up, reveal Kate. Kate, this sound right to you, to camera, World's Fair Hotel, hotel like no other. Always ran red with blood, and sheets were washed in the mother's tears. The price of the room came at the cost of your life, and then the owner was a liar, a fraud, or quite possibly the most prolific murder in American history. Transposed from imagery over the lines, FX of screams and sobbing. Kate turns away from the desk, exit frame. Cut to on Kate, slow pull back as she walks through the lobby. Kate continued. We already seen the bloody rain come to an end in the Philadelphia courtroom where H. H. Holmes was handed the same sentence he inflicted. On so many others, death, and in 1895, his hotel, Myrtle Castle, became known as the gutted, was gutted in the act of the suspected arson before the building itself was torn down in 1938, co-signing another part of Holmes' infamy into the history, or so it seemed. Does our audience understand co-signing? Does our crew understand co-signing? Kate stops, camera continues to pull back, revealing the space runner. Kate continued. Location, 2BC. 
This looks like I have stepped back to the Xander stage of 1893. But I can assure you I am safe and sound in present-day Illinois, where the team of talented production designers have undertaken a most remarkable act of recreation. In a recreation of the infamous building where noted interpreter Triple H expert Grantham DeMont has. It containing it, you can almost hear the desperate screams from the unfortunate guests trapped here, doomed to become Holmes' next victim. So without further ado, let's step back in time. Maybe, uh, maybe see if we can see, uncover a few Maccabee secrets might still be lingering. Take this extraordinary opportunity to eight exit train. Dreams. I think Aaron can do this. Not sure. I want legal on my case if she has an asthma attack. That's pretty good notes. Anything else before? What are you looking at? You're doing that before. Did I miss something over here? Locked. 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 Jamie! Over here. Okay, yeah. I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. Dude, you're in denial. Must be in Egypt. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? What? So he hasn't left. This, that, no. So we split off two different ways. Music seems to be coming from down there. something one's worth two and let me buy presidential thing or C FBI thing I first met Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997, at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I doubt he remembered me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training, and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was tall. It put it down on its own. Our assistance is required in Chicago. They have potential serial killer to victims. 
so far more anticipated following the access to the Sherman case. I need you to fly out there to investigate. I know you have some time off recently to help with profile training. The detective should be welcoming, but fully brief you when you land at O'Hare. Why don't you go first, Jamie? Dude, it sounds like somebody's struggling on the pod. Oof. Lovely. Anything else before I open said door? I don't really have a feeling this is a trap. Yeah, if we don't step back, we're gonna get stabbed. Oh my god. Shit, give me your hand. Come on. Damn it. What's happening? What did I do? Let's get the fuck out of here. Now. Charlie. Huh? Let's go. Where's Charlie's hat? Did, did you see him? The mask? What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, you're shitting me. We're trapped. Jesus. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One, two, three. Uh, uh, uh. You hear that? Yes. What is happening? Oh. 
Find your spirit crystal? Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I yeah. Know. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. <laughs> Maybe you're right. But you don't have to be an asshole about it. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to... I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job, not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. Why the hell didn't you go for it? Why didn't you tell me? Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. Who is that in the background? I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. Oh, it's a mirror. I... I guess I didn't even think of that. I, I just, uh, What do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. You should have said all this before. I know. I'm not going through it all again. Whoa, we got a shit ton of stuff. What if this time is different? Oh, come on. That's not likely, and you know it. Sorry. I guess I'm a little confused. We better go. Let's get back to Aaron and get the fuck out of here. Do you think they found Dumet? Charles seems hell bent on talking to him, so maybe, yeah. Wonder how much pure amethyst is going for online these days. Amethyst is always kind of a slightly expensive. Yeah, take it with you. Whatever makes you happy, man. As long as it doesn't hurt others. Dude, this... You're... 184. These hallways are not the same. Going around locking these doors. You met his uh, little helper in the yellow coat. It's not just locking the doors; the hallways are changing. One eighty-two. Really bad, it's already different. Wait. What's that? 
Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is it her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? Mm, kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. We would be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. And Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when it, that's when he got her. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day, and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. What the hell is that? He's playing on no your idea, fears. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here, now! Charlie! <laughs> Hold it. I can't hold this. You have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now! Uh, Jamie! Charlie! What the hell just happened? I, I don't know, but I think it's really, really bad. Uh, it isn't moving. So now what? We're fucked. That has to be the way around. Yeah, maintenance corridors. Crawl space has to be. Kids start tearing off the plaster and drywall from the doors. I knew it. The walls and things did not add up. Let's see what happens in here. It isn't moving. So now what? We're fucked. That has to be the way around. Yeah, maintenance corridors. Crawl space has to be. All right, so gather our bearings. This is where we came from. Uh, What's going on? Demet, what the hell is going on with him? He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. Well, one thing I would have noticed and had an issue with on day one. Let's think about this. You saw Dumet take off. So maybe he found. There's no the windows, right which are a fire not. safety issue. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask is. Fire safety code. You have to have emergency exits labeled. That's a hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really the Met. There's so many fire safety thing issues here, no modes of egress. You didn't notice. Like that right there. Things immediately. Oh no, look, this is only closed off and we're just... Guarantee that closes off. That allows us to open the thing. This one has no room number.
You can see how small of an area that is. Mother fucker. What? Brick wall. Keep going. Just like Holmes. I know. I don't want to think about it. trying to hide the fact of where the walls come back and forth. You coming, dude, or are we going to get separated here? This in my head. I think Erin's room has been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened. The most vulnerable. Don't you watch our show? That's what these sociopaths do. That'll take us down, which I think is where they're wanting us to go. Um. No, they're cutting us off here. 100%. This has already changed. Oh wait, that one had a number. What was the number? 180, so... Th yeah, these things have changed, moved around. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a kid? Oh, good. You hear creepy kid voice too. I was worried I was finally snapping. Where's it coming from? Another one of these worth two. Charlie, come here. How's it get this open? Oh, uh, yeah, that looks like a trap. Hundred percent looks like a trap, and it's something you shouldn't go into. That was a lock behind you. Yep. We're in a bloody nesting doll. What? A Russian nesting doll. You know? A doll in a doll in a doll. Are you losing your shit? Because I don't need that right now. We're locked in a kitchen, trapped in a hotel, stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room... How do we get out of the hotel? He's exactly. the motherfucker down. The island. Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. This room first. You're right, of course. Charlie! I found a way out, maybe. Look, this one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. That's not what I was expecting. Ah, me! Ah. Ah. <sighs> Charlie? I knew they'd be getting separated soon. There's just no way for I it know not to. Was in there. I, I, can't, I can't breathe. Try to relax. Slow, deep breath. In and out. Ah. There was 
somebody in there. They gotta hear this. Wait. All the mold and dust in the air. Oh, come on, come on. Stop being such a damn wimp. Ain't using Heller to calm herself before in the newly unlocked room. Alright. There's no point in instantly using it every single time. Now when she's actually having the attack, yes. Now one thing you should do is blow out the fucking window. And just leave out the window. It's in your hotel. Demolish parts of it. What? Genuine snake oil treatment made from the finest king cobra. Silver ash acid. Ah, institute. Acid. Institute. That's real blood. And those are not real windows. The door is locked behind me. I don't know if that's for sure, Charlie. I'll get them to you. Oh, what the hell? Their eyes don't look right. Eyes look too real. 
They don't look like a mannequin. Well, fuck you, Jamie. Is the cutie in the pig post to tell your type is so predictable? To Aaron, please, my type's a badass bitch, not a timid, wiggling creature. She's shy. She's clueless. Her face always lost. The, they're trying to set you up to hate each other. Nothing else sticks out? No. Banish the demon drink with Dr. Holmes' miracle cure. A prediction or predilection for alcohol has been stigmatized purely in terms of weakness of character and absence of moral fiber. Yet, startling breakthroughs by the renowned physician has demonstrated that alcoholism is an ailment such as syphilis or cholera. It can only be successfully treated as such. But although alcohol aversion remedies are becoming available, the greedy greed of the manufacturers has put the majority beyond the purse of the common man, particularly when the common Man has already been driven to the brink of ruin by his unfortunate affliction. Such dire public need has now been answered by the esteemed Chicago practitioner, Dr. Henry H. Holmes, who has a personal expense, has established the Silver Ash Institute. Bringing affordable therapies to the drunken masses already, the good doctor is achieving remarkable results for those who pass through the doors of the clinic. At Silver Ash Institute, there is no recourse for prayer C, an eligible plea, with the Almighty. The only law is the submission that Dr. Holmes and his miracle here, a patent yet highly affordable compound of secret ingredients, including the purest silver drawn from the mines in North Dakota. When ingested thrice daily for a program for four weeks, his cure is sent until intelligible to exercise the patient with his prior inquisitive appetites. Indeed, following one month's treatment of Silver Ash Institute under the strict instructions of Dr. Holmes, there will be little. For your bad old self remaining, time you depart. Silver Ash Institute. Aaron, hello? Jamie! Jamie? Aaron? You there? Uh. Hello? Can you hear me? What is happening? What? You're not safe, Aaron. How are you? have to listen to me. Do exactly as I say. Jamie, what is going on? Where are you? I don't. Just listen. Listen. There's a cupboard in there. You have to get inside right now. What are you talking about? Just hide, Aaron. Why are you telling me this? What's happening? Aaron, now! Just trust me, okay? There'd be no way for Jamie to know without her seeing, like, a camera or something.
Charlie? Jamie? Hello? Where the hell are they? Hopefully somewhere safe, wondering where the hell we are. Kate, check this out. What is going on? <laughs> are, are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? Shh. You hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? <gasps> Somebody's in the restaurant. Twisted, twisted shit is what this is. Mark, what are you doing? Just stay back from it. Relax. So, it's a bunch of mannequins dressed like us. Weird? Yes. Cause to lose your shit? No. I say destroy him. Destroy all the hard work they put into everything. Jesus. It looks just like him. No way somebody just threw these together in the last couple of hours. Night. The eyes on these don't look as weird. The eyes on the other ones look lifelike. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Okay, this is fucked up. What the hell is going on? Again, destroy the mannequins. You hear that? Footsteps. And they're getting closer. But watch out. Invite us here and to dinner and then just leave. <laughs> That's a weird doorknob. It looks like there are two of them on top of each other. What am I supposed to aim at? Not. Uh, oh shit. Jamie. What's going on? Sorry, I thought. Jesus. What are those things? Oh my god. When that wall shut, I. I'm just glad you're okay. Demet killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. Demet? It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Wait, hang on. Where's Charlie? I don't know. We got separated. No way this is happening. You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side Are you of the fucking lake, kidding me? Bodies dead. Jesus, dead. shut Bodies. it up! Dead. 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 What was that? It had a real eye it's, in it. It's fake. A prop or from an animal or something. It has to be. No, no, no. You really want to touch somebody's eye? Oh, it is a real eye. Oh, it's real. It's fucking real. I told you this was all too much. Let's get out of here. 
Don't run off, I still want to look around the room. Oh, it's locked! What's going on? The door I came through is locked too. You man! You wanna play around? Get out here! Right now! Let's fucking play! You're playing right into his games. What you should be doing is destroying the house. Something that took him years and years to build millions of dollars. Or escape through a window. Uh, you need your lighter. It was next to you. Jamie! Hello! Hello there, Jamie! governor. I'm okay! Apparently you still look like the bus driver from Little Hope. There's a little fire. Is that a warning? I bet it is a warning. It showed when you fell, your lighter was right next to you. This dude's playing games with you, trying to get you to do exactly what he wants. Don't do what he wants. Chicago victim, or Chicago killer victim to cause of death, abdominal injuries, victim's teeth were all removed. John Doe number two. I'm assuming you've read my report on the first one. Similar MO, unidentified male with multiple stab wounds. Looking at the lower abdomen, the wounds are consistent with those of the first victim. The shape of the entry wound suggests it's a strong probability that this is the same murder weapon. Looks like we've got a souvenir hunter here. This time the left ear has been severed. Clean incision. Probably a scalpel or a razor blade. Very tidy. Nice job, actually. Very little bleeding. The deceased had probably been dead for 30 to 40 minutes when this was done. This differs from the earlier M.O. If you remember, that John Doe was still alive when the teeth were removed. That would have created a lot of noise and mess. This guy is learning. Nice. Not what he did, just... Information. AD, logbook, can I open it? Alright, most of the crew have arrived on the island, moved all the equipment in, up to the hotel, the hotel proprietor and Mr. Beck can. On site assessment has begun, Eva excavation has begun in the hotel basement, intelligible, work on the first and second floors are expected, some equipment has gone missing. Self report requests or replacements via Mr. Bell Camp as our contract. James Kelly has left the project, left him outside in an emergency, he didn't contact me directly. 
grand port to follow. First set of moving walls have been implemented. Acquire a copy of blueprints from Mr. Belcant. Start work on basement ceiling supports tomorrow. Bobby has left me high and dry. Second one of the guy to lead me on the project. Bar renovation has begun. Basement and plumbing has been completed. Second floor renovation completed. Bar renovation completed. Project is good. If it continues, we'll meet the agreed date. We can search walls. Completed. Signal receivers installed. More reports of missing equipment. Third replacement request filled this month. Project completed at the agreed date. Proprietor is requesting additional work on the spa area beneath the hotel. Only a small skeleton crew are still on the island, so we have to conduct initial cost assessments while waiting to hear back from Kelly. We received correspondence from Kelly, skeleton crew remaining, Laura, and Monica. Ryan, Frank, and I will move forward with the work on the spa until her crew returns. Ryan has left a note saying his mom isn't well. I'm sure she died years ago. We'll see if Mr. Belkamp allows me to contact him. Laura finished installing the tannery system with Mr. Belkamp. He said she wasn't feeling well afterwards, and so he offered her one of the rooms to sleep let it off. I haven't received any correspondence from Kelly about the rest of the crew are. What's going on? Laura hasn't come out of her room, and Monica just left. I can't contact Kelly. Tomorrow I will be on the mainland with Frank and Laura. This job is ridiculous. That he's killed off his contractors. All right, so we're looking in a cage with three lights. That only has one. The lights are off. I turn that shit off. Again, you're leading into his trap. Don't like the voodoo doll thing on it. Wants us to go that way. That for sure looks like a trap. You fell down the trap tonight. Well, if I get out, I'll send someone back for you. Any door that you can clearly see locked from one side, yeah, that looks like a trap. Somebody was watching us. Are those in every room? Oh, that's locked now.
And this one's now locked. So did that change anything here? We are definitely going straight into whatever he wants us to go into. Which I do not like. this work? I don't figure out how we use or what these coins are for. I don't like that this one has fire on the top. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't have a way to light up shit. That ain't good. Makes me think they've been pumping gas in here too. This whole thing looks like a boiler room. Which, was it this one that had the window? Can't look through it now. Well, it's burnt to a crisp. This is 100% a trap. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, hell no. Dude, it takes in the crates, block off every door, and lock this one open. Yeah, don't like that. They're obviously screwing with you here. But they took your lighter. This is gonna be the best cigarette of your life. Oh, for fuck's sake. Called it. I knew it was gonna be a trap. The door obviously looked like one. You guys are being too nice about everything. You need to destroy the mansion. Every door needs to be busted. 
Every window broken. Oh, it's made just to be just out of reach. That sucks. There's a grate. Gas. I knew it looked like a freaking broiler. Somebody's been burnt. You ain't getting that door open. Your best chance with the gray. That door was made for you not to be able to reach through. Don't lose your strength now. I still say great. That door is not going anywhere. Quickly taking all the oxygen out of the room. I for sure think he would have died at the door. At least he's low, but he needs to stop screaming. starting to heat up for our friends. Charlie's goose may be cooked. It can be difficult working with someone you've been involved with, but I think Mark and Kate may be finding a way and learning some new things about each other. And how do we feel about Mr. Dumet's lovely animatronics? I think they're rather clever. Some of them look very realistic. I wonder where he sources the parts. It would only be fair at this stage to offer up a little hint to even the odds. Sure. What do you think? Yes. Let's take some inspiration from the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Apparently, our friend Herman Mudgett was so enamored with Sherlock Holmes that he borrowed his surname. Hmm. Here. <clears throat> He has a brain of the first order. He sits motionless like a spider in the center of its web. But that web has a thousand radiations, and he knows well every quiver of each of them. I hope that helps. I 
Oh, Tom Hanks, the curator of death. You'd better get back to things. Best of luck. I know he doesn't voice him, but he looks just like Tom Hanks. Quit working into his plans. Start the destruction of the hotel. I, I could have saved him. How could you have saved him? There's no way you could have saved him. The monitor had no power ran right to it. It was hooked to nothing. From down there. What if it's Aaron? No way. Damn it's it. It's another trap. It's the only way out of here. So we're going to find out. They show it right there, but there's no power ran right to it. There's no video ran right to it. Sorry, but I've been working telecommunications for. 24 years. That ain't gonna work. Moving on down to the basement. Where the hell are we? Hey, there's body parts in those bags. Ew, a very small crevice. Which honestly is a good place for us to leave off today. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. I personally looking through here and playing and seeing so many ways for them to have escaped or piss off their captor. I think they should be destroying the mansion as they go through. If anything, they'll open up escape pass and cost the guy money. Because if you're bl destroying each door as you come through to it, that door is not going to be an issue later. You could kind of see where the walls open and close, put stuff in the way so they don't open and close all the way. But we're going to continue down our journey, playing in the web of the spider, I guess you would say. And uh, we're going to see if we can expand the relationship. So like I said, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, tell me what you think, and we'll see what we get into on the next episode.